Hello everyone, this is Matteo and today I'm talking about the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini Keyboard. So a very quick introduction before I begin. I don't generally like making product reviews because uh, you get the keyboard for free and you want to keep a good relationship with the manufacturer. Fortunately, I am not a YouTuber in the sense that I don't have an agenda. I don't make money from my videos. Um, I don't have to trick the YouTube algorithm. I don't care if you like and subscribe. This is just my extremely honest uh, opinion about this keyboard. Let's have a look at our MX Mechanical. You are still paying 160 but it is a mechanical keyboard, it is wireless and it is uh, backlit. So it is not so overpriced if you consider all the uh, features and the Logitech tax. You can pick your layout, which is nice. Um, in Europe, you can only buy the ISO version. I have the ISO US. You can pick your uh, switch, linear, clicky, and tactile. And if you want, you can also have a numpad. But anyway, now I have it, and it is indeed a nice piece of hardware. It is very heavy. It weighs about six. 100 grams that is impressive considering it is all plastic except for the uh, switch plate switches look like standard Kyle low profile they seem to be a chalk mini v2 and it doesn't seem that they are custom made for uh, Logitech uh, the stabilizers are standard so I will be able to try a different keycap set and there is an exception for 1.75 uh, keycaps that have these small uh, stabilizer here but it shouldn't interfere with uh, uh, third party keycaps. Feature wise you can connect it to three different devices. You can use the Unify Wi-Fi dongle or simply Bluetooth. Uh, so you can switch from your PC to your smartphone, for example. The keyboard is backlit, of course, only white light though, no RGB, I'm sorry. Uh, the backlight works in uh, wireless mode, you don't need to connect the cable. Uh, you have a USB-C port here, uh, it is only for charging. Uh, the keyboard doesn't work with uh, just the cable, you need the Unify Wi-Fi dongle or Bluetooth. The legends are okay, I don't like when they use numbers and symbols on the same line. They do that for backlight compatibility, I guess, and I don't like when they mix uh, Mac and PC and modifiers. They could have added a couple of keys in the box, but I guess it is too much to ask for a 160 euros uh, keyboard. And I guess it's time for a sound and typing test. As to be expected, acoustics is not the best. The sound of each key is basically different from one another, even when they are very close to each other, like one and two. And the space bar is pretty rattling. So they are clicky switches, you have to like them, but these are not the worst that I have tried. 
the typing experience is not bad. The Choc Mini have a satisfying uh, clicky feedback, uh, but the keycaps are mm, very bad in my opinion, and the overall sound is not very pleasing. So I'm trying to replace the keycaps with this set from PBT Fans, and I think that it goes really well with this keyboard. Let me show you. The keyboard is now naked and before adding the PBT fans uh, keycaps, I'm going to try to open it and see what's inside. I removed all the screws, but the plate doesn't really want to move. Uh, I have a feeling that it is glued. First we have to remove the bottom and uh, be very careful because there is a small connector for the battery. So this is the guts of the beast. Nice little duck here. Kind of Easter egg. The only thing that I am noticing is that uh, this, the PCB is uh, very dirty. So not much cleaning after the, the soldering job. So I'm going to actually clean this PCB. Isopropyl alcohol. So a little better now that it's cleaned, but uh, overall a very average uh, PCB job. Uh, I believe that the main um, MCU is on the other side, uh, but um, we have these uh, daughter board which is interesting because uh, it has a very long antenna that goes all on the right side and top side here. Now I'm going to try to assemble it back together. Okay, so the good news is that uh, these keycaps looks really sleek on this keyboard. The bad news is that the spacebar is indeed a 6.25 unit spacebar but the stabilizers are in a not standard position look why would they do that why i would have to cut the stems and glue them a little bit farther from the sides and I hate them, I hate them so much. So. The sound improved a little. Not by much, but still something. But you cannot replace the spacebar. I want the name of the project manager who made this decision at Logitech. Really, f you. So, wrapping up, the MX Mechanical Mini Keyboard. A keyboard that has no reason to exist. I understand that maybe you are not an, a keyboard enthusiast, you are not in the hobby and you just want a nice keyboard that looks cool on your desktop 
and that you can also use for your tablet maybe this is not it okay this this is just crap um, this is a mediocre at best keyboard that you are going to pay premium there is no reason on earth for you to buy this thing please please don't give money to logitech for this kind of product oh my god Quick recap, the MX Mechanical Mini is a keyboard based on Kyle Choc V2 switches, which is the only component of value in this keyboard. We know exactly how much they cost. Uh, they go for uh, about 50 cents uh, retail. Um, of course, Logitech is not paying retail. So here we have between maybe 25 30 dollars of uh, switches the chalk v2 are actually good and i wouldn't mind the mediocre uh, keycaps that come with the keyboard if i could change them but logitech decided to use non-standard stabilizer for the spacebar so i cannot actually change keycaps without the switches you are left with a uh, Piece of plastic there's nothing premium about this keyboard the switch plate is aluminum but it is more decorative than functional with the provided keycaps the typing experience is not much better than a low-cost rubber dome keyboard so why would you buy this thing a keyboard is something that you need to use it you need to feel that you need to touch Typing, it should feel good. You, you spend so much on mechanical keyboards because you want something in return. You want to feel good and this thing makes you miserable. I really wanted to like this keyboard, okay? I really wanted to try the uh, low profile switches, but this keyboard has no reason to exist. Sorry guys, don't buy it.